Hey guys, Miss Redican again. I know some of you didn't have a chance or weren't able to link to the virtual lab. So I'm going to walk you through it just in case you missed it or you skipped over parts. Here we go. Welcome. Here in the chemical disposal lab, technicians are responsible for the safe disposal of all chemicals used and created by Holt Virtual Laboratories. Today, you can assist with a fun project. Your first task will be to separate the components of a mixture of iron filings, sand, and salt using the equipment in the lab. You will find three empty glass containers to store the separated components of the mixture. There are many ways you could separate the components. Your goal is to separate the components using the fewest possible steps and the least amount of time. You can refer to the equipment manual and material facts file when you need more information. Have fun! Okay, putting on our safety gear, our virtual safety gear, and entering our virtual lab. We're going to start with the iron filings, and we're going to use a magnet. And that's going to separate the iron from the salt and the sand. And you can see the particle level. Now we're left with salt, the little dots, and the sand. Okay, next. We're going to work on getting the sand. And for that, we're going to need a beaker, some water, funnel, and a filter. Because the sand particles are larger. So let's go ahead and start that technique, separation technique. Separate. So the salt and sand, that's two things in there. The salt and sand. Now, when adding the water, the salt's going to dissolve and stay in the water. And then the sand is going to get separated into the filter paper. So now you have sand here and salt water in the bottom of the flask. Okay, so we've got sand. Okay, and last but not least we have salt, but we have salt water. We just want the salt. Okay. And if you watched the video um, the other day about the um, salt fields and how they get the sea salt, uh, they can heat it. So we're going to use the hot plate here. Oh, let's see what else I need. And I don't know if they're going to put it back in there or not. Let's see. Shows the equipment that would allow. Okay. Yes, there we go. It's going to go on the hot plate into the beaker. And now the water is going to evaporate and it's going to leave the salt behind. So now we actually have separated all three substances. Okay. Hello. Good to see you okay. again. We got part two now here where you have to challenge. identify elements, compounds, and mixtures. So that's what we've been studying. We have and again, we're going to go back into the lab with our virtual safety gear. Okay, so unknown C, oh, where we go, unknown C is a white chocolate powder, not soluble in water. When heated, it has been uh, fitted with a stopper and a gas tube. If it gives off the gas, it's not very soluble and will support combustion. Uh, when water is added to the cold white residue, the substance reacts and gives off heat. Okay. So that's sounding like a compound, but let's double check the other ones. A known B is a thin silver colored sheet, easily bent, good conductor. That's sounding like a metal. Okay, so let's put that metals or elements. A, let's see what A is. Come on, A. Oh, evaluate. Okay, good job. So we have that one right. It's composed of soil, seeds, and white granules. That is a mixture. It's a mixture of different components. And just like I thought, unknown C sounds like a compound. Okay. And I think we're done. 